All right guys, welcome back to the video. So today we're gonna finish off the 10 round ladder test portion of the series, and we're gonna finish off with a seating depth test. In the previous video, 40.2 grain was the node that we chose, which was the higher node. So we're gonna plug that into a seating depth test. And just like we did with the optimal charge weight, we're gonna start broad and then kind of narrow in depending on what the groups look like for this portion of the seating test. And again, we'll probably put all of the seating test into one video so that we're not doing multiple videos of the same thing. We're gonna do 10, 20, 30, and 40 thousandths off the lands. And then we'll kind of narrow in depending on what results we get for this portion. To start us off, we're gonna be shooting the 40.2 grains at 10 thousandths off the lands. All right, next up, we're going to be shooting 20 thousandths off the lands. 2,747. 2,760. 2,730. 2,741. 2,726. So that second group looks amazing. I, I would guess it's probably quarter inch, maybe. It's very good. All right, next up is 30 thousandths off the lands. 2,743. 2,746. I might have pulled that one just a smidge. 2,735. 2,751. All right, last up, 40 thousandths off the lens. 2,750. 2,773. I freaking pulled that one. 2,758. Might have to reshoot the 40 thousandths off the lands because I really janked that one shot. 2,732. All right, that's it on that one. We'll uh, go in and, and find which is the best area to work around and areas to keep testing. We'll be back in a sec. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the seating depth test. I originally reshot 40 thousandths off the land since I had that one flyer on the first target that you'll probably see here in a second. And I had just cleaned the barrel and I didn't put enough fowlers through it. So the group size opened up a lot and it was pretty inconsistent with everything that I had shot before. And I had quite a few more rounds through the barrel since the last cleaning where everything really started to tighten up. So I used those as fowlers and had a couple more fowlers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and redo that in this half of the video. Since 20 and besides the one shot that I pulled really bad on the 40 thousandths, those were again, like in the optimal charge weight are two better rounds. At least I think 40 thousandths is, it might be 10, which is why I split the difference between 10 and 20 thousandths this time. And I'm gonna be doing 15 thousandths off the lands. And then just on the other side of 20 thousandths off the lands, I'm going to do 23 thousandths off the lands, 37 thousandths off the lands, and then instead of 43 thousandths, we're just going to do 40 thousandths again. So those, those are going to be our four seating depths for the second half of the 10 run ladder test portion of, of the video. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with 15 thousandths off the lands. 2,750. 2, that looks like a really good group. 
All right, next up's gonna be 23 thousandths off the lens. Two thousand seven hundred forty one, two thousand seven hundred thirty five, two thousand seven hundred forty seven. Both of those, at least from my point of view, look like pretty good groups. All right, we're gonna let the barrel cool down just a little bit and then we'll come back and do the second two. All right, next up's gonna be 37 thousandths off the lens. 2,737. 2,739. 2,746. 2,725 2,761 Man, all these look like great groups. It's gonna be hard to pick just one. All right, last up is gonna be redoing 40 thousandths off the lands. 2,744 2,737 2,739. 2,729. Yeah. Looks like this isn't uh, a good seating depth for this load because it opened up again, so. 2,736. Yeah, it looks like the seating depth isn't good for this, for this charge weight, so. All right, let's head in and see what our final results are. All right, so for our first part, we had 10, 20, 30, and 40 thousandths off the lands. Our 10 and 20 were our best. 30 and 40 kind of uh, fell apart. I did 40 again, because I thought maybe this was just a flyer on my part, but it ended up being just as bad. So we stuck with around 10 to 20. In between 10 and 20, we did 15, and then just on the other side of 20 at 23 thousandths and 37, and I redid 40 thousandths because I wasn't sure exactly if maybe when I did the second 40 thousandths off the lands, it opened up because I didn't have enough fowlers through there. So I went ahead and just shot it again. And it was about the same. It opened up quite a bit. We stuck around the 10 to 20 thousandth again. So I, I went with 15 since the uh, standard deviation is four, the extreme spread is 10. And that was the best of all of the, the good groups. So that ended up being 0.302. And so that is our load. That is gonna be the end result for our 10 round ladder test. So when comparing it to the final load for the optimal charge weight, which is 0.314, and that had an extreme spread of 24 and a standard deviation of eight, and that was the best group. Um, we did have one right next to it at 30 thousandths off the lands that was extreme spread of 11 and a standard deviation of four. And that kind of opened up to the point where it just looked like this was a, a little more consistent. And so I went with a little bit higher number, still under 10. It's not as good as 11 and four, but since uh, I didn't really like how it was starting to spread out, I, I decided that which one was the yeah, 40 thousands off the lands was the way to go. So uh, honestly, I would say that I know that Hornady has done some testing and in their testing, it says that with the 10 round ladder test, that the only reason that you're seeing velocity nodes and stuff like that is because you're not, you're not shooting enough, you're not doing enough testing. And at least with this regard, I'm not really seeing that because it looks like the loads were consistent in between the good the good groups. Like um, with 
10, 20, 15, and even 23. They were all nice and tight, and they were all in the same general area of the target. And um, you would think that if your groupings were not consistent, that would make sense in regards to the test not being viable. But at least for me, I would say that obviously Hornady has done way more testing. So, you know, maybe, maybe they're onto something, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference between the optimal charge weight and the 10 round ladder test as far as getting a load. Now the two loads were obviously different with the optimal charge weight, the load was 39.8 and with the 10 round ladder, it is 40.2. So there, there is some difference there. And in regard to the um, seating depth tests, if you look at the 10 round ladder test, you have the loads tighter, closer to the lands. And then with the optimal charge weight, you have loads that are towards 40 thousandths versus, you know, in the 10 to 20 thousandths. So there is a little bit of a difference, but as far as getting consistency and getting good groups, I'm not seeing a huge difference as far as, you know, one being significantly better than the other. If I were to do this test a bunch of times, would that change? Probably, you know, I, I don't, have the funds to to be able to just do you know 30 round groups and stuff like that but you know that's what testing is for and so if i were to do a bunch of different 10 round ladder tests with different loads and different components you know maybe over time i would see that that the 10 round ladder test isn't as as consistent as the optimal charge weight i choose to do the optimal charge weight just because i feel a bit more comfort in shooting five rounds for each of of the charge weights but at this point when comparing these two specific tests using the same components same charge weights and everything like that i would say that they were pretty equal in fact i would say probably honestly that the 10 round ladder test load is a bit better just simply because the extreme spread and standard deviation was like half of of what the um, optimal charge weights was so i know this is going to ruffle some feathers but um, in this case, I would say they were they were pretty equal, all things considered. And I know that we we take what other people do in their testing as kind of guidelines for what we should be doing. But it's OK to try different test methods. And if it works for you, it works for you. You know, don't don't let other people's testing decide how you're going to test if it if the end results are you know good. So probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but it is what it is. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel, guys. I know this was a long one. We will see you in the next one.